Hello there, welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen video. As you can tell, we are almost done with the Movember challenge to raise awareness for men's health, including prostate and testicular cancers and men's suicide. You can tell because you can see the growth of my luxurious silver beard, which when it comes in, it will be spectacular. Wanna talk about the beard? All right, the beard's in its transitional stage right now, that's all. When it comes in, it's gonna look great. I'm donating all of my November YouTube membership revenue to the Movember Challenge and you can donate directly to my Movember Challenge page using the link I'll provide in the description below. I'm already up to $75 and I will be donating roughly $120 to that at the end of the month. For all your support, I say thanks. I thank you. It has snuck up on us, but Thanksgiving in the United States is just one day away. And we all know what that means. Yes, that's right. If you haven't already done your holiday shopping, you're already screwed for 2021. Screwed! <laughs> so, in today's video, I'm going to give you some suggestions for gifts for the fountain pen geek in your life for the lucrative gift-giving season of 2022. <laughs> Order right now, and you can expect your package to arrive within the next 12 months. And this holiday season, what can you give those wankers of writing? Those pontificators of the pen? Fonts of all things fountain? Those incredibly ink-stained cronies of the cursive? That will have them gushing with glee and tearing off to tweak their ill-begotten pen booty to their fellow nerds of the nib on social media. Stuck for an answer? Then follow me, Professor of the Penultimate, as I give you some very cool ideas right now. On your behalf, I've scoured the interwebs in search of things that might tickle my particular pen fancy. And as always, your particular pen pleasure mileage may vary. Your mileage may vary. And so, without further ado, here are 15. Has given unto you these 15. Oi. 10. 10 commandments. Um, 10. 10 relatively inexpensive items that will bring a smile to any fountain pen geek's face if they discover them under their assorted holiday bushes on that very special day of Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Omisoka, Festivus, and the very special celebration of Sir Isaac Newton's birthday on December 25th, newton Mess. Here we go. <laughs> December 25th, 1642, Julian calendar, Sir Isaac Newton is born. Jesus, on the other hand, was actually born in the summer. His birthday was moved to coincide with a traditional pagan holiday that celebrated the winter solstice with lit fires and slaughtered goats. <laughs> they are in no particular order of price or coolness, but I think they all have a definite, ooh, that's really neat factor. It's KTEL's Five Beat Guys Need Us Hits. Five thoughts. Who made the egg salad sandwiches? I won't take just any girl around. Cause Patsy has the largest press in town. First things first, paper. And not just any paper, folks. Fountain pen people are special. I kind of get the helmet, but what's with the water wings? Well, you did order the soap. Oh, like something could happen. You... <laughs> ah, 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 get me out, get me out, get me out. <laughs> and we need special paper. Paper that doesn't bleed, ghost, or feather, and will allow the ink to sheen, shine, sparkle, shimmer, and shade, and all those other shitty... Uh, sh I respectfully request a full day's continuance to go over all this stuff. Request denied wonderful things. I know that's a lot to ask from paper, and no, you can't just get it at Staples. Fountain pen friendly papers generally have a higher grams per square meter value. There are so many things to consider, aren't there? And you thought this would be simple. Plus, your fountain pen aficionado might prefer blank over lines, or dots over blank. There are some very beloved brands from the venerable and apparently disappearing Tomoe River, to Rhodia, Fabriano, and my personal favorite, Claire Fontaine. I do not recommend a Loish term, 
as I have found those notebooks and journals to not be very fountain pen friendly. Again, your mileage may vary. You have to consider form factors as well. Pad or notebook. Perfect bound, spiral bound, everyone's different. You're all different! Yes, we are all different! I'm not. And here are my preferences. I prefer the size A5, which is 148 by 210 millimeters. Not too big, not too small. Too small and dry. Well, I wouldn't say that. And I like the Clairefontaine My Essential Journal. This is what I use for my personal journal. Pages are numbered. You can get it in lined or in dot or in blank. And it has pockets at the front and the back and an elastic enclosure. And they come in some cool colors as well. And the paper is 90 grams per square meter which is very fountain pen friendly. I bought this cheaper Clairefontaine journal and the same 90 GSM paper, and it's just a pain in the ass. Won't lay flat, I'm always fighting with it, and you're always writing on a curve. For everyday writing and notes and my writing samples, I like the Clairefontaine spiral bound notebooks. Same 90 GSM paper, it's in white uh, as my essential journal but again it lays flat the paper is just lovely and second more paper but this is a special paper this is paper for your paper blotter paper sheets are really useful and last a long time my clairefontaine journal also has pockets inside which is a great place to store these blotting paper sheets but i mostly just use these as bookmarks this is a pack of blotter paper from visconti but you can get J. Urbain papers from Goulet Pens online. And now that we have our notebooks, we need a notebook cover. Leather covers are really nice and develop some really nice patina with age. If they have a little elastic to hold the pen, that's even better. My wife bought me this one for my birthday on Etsy and had my initials stamped on the front. It has a snap closure and a little elastic to hold your pen very classy and this one is an a5 it has a slot at the front and at the back and as you can see it holds my clairefontaine a5 journal very nicely this particular journal i've got here with the gray cover has the dot grid on it and we're almost ready to write now but we do need ink don't we it sounds so simple just pick up a pen and write well, not in your life. Ink is one of the main reasons some of your favorite fountain pen geeks are into the hobby at all. Some geeks will get all matchy-matchy with their fountain pens, green pen, green ink, blue pen, blue ink, and of course, like paper, there are so many things to consider with fountain pen inks like wet or dry, sheen or no sheen, shimmer or no shimmer, and does the ink shade, and what kind of a bottle does it come in? There are hundreds of brands of fountain pen inks that come in millions of different colors. My advice is to find out your geek's favorite color and buy any shade of that color by Pilot Hiroshizuku in a 50 milliliter bottle. These bottles are an elegant gift in themselves and these inks are not cheap. So this is no stocking stuffer, but I guarantee you, your fountain pen lover will be thrilled with any shade of Orochizuku in their favorite color range. And the bottle is just beautiful and elegant and practical as well. You see that little point down at the bottom of the bottle? That allows you to get the nib all the way down and get the last dregs of ink. And of course, now that we've got pen and paper and ink, we've got the inevitable mess. Fountain pens need maintenance and cleaning. It's just part of the geek culture tinkering, adjusting, and cleaning. Get your geek a kit of the most useful tools in fountain pen maintenance. Goulet Pen sells a kit that has everything for 50 bucks. There's a bulb syringe, two blunt end syringes, mylar and micro meshes, brass shims, silicone grease, and Goulet's pen flush. Plus there is a 10 times magnification illuminated loop for nib inspection. That is a really nice gift in itself and can be purchased separately. Are you listening, Santa? You'll shoot your eye out, kid. Of course, you can put your own geek kit together. 
Uh, this is my loop. It's just an inexpensive uh, 10 by magnifier, um, a bunch of micro meshes, a spark plug gapping tool for uh, nib cleaning and adjustment, an ear syringe or a baby ear syringe from your local pharmacy, and of course you can get blunt and pen syringes on Amazon. Here's a really cool idea as well. This is available on Etsy and is a spring-loaded uh, ink syringe that you can just put down inside the ink and suck up ink to get those last dregs of the ink out of the bottle. Now your pen geek is going to have some very special pens in their collection. I assure you there are some pens that they own that they won't allow anyone to touch, let alone borrow. Take your sticking paws off me, you damn dirty ape! So gift your geek something warm and soft they can slip their precious pen into this holiday season. I am going to go home and I'm going to find a special place to put this. Get them a pen sleeve. These pen sleeves are cloth and in the taco kind of style. So you can slip your pen right into that taco just like that. The show starts in one minute. And they come in a kimono style as well. And so you can slip your pen into that little kimono and give it a nice wrap. You can get single pen cases like this leather one. It's like a roll. This was a gift to me by my pen friend Janice. Or you can get double or triple pen cases. This leather pen case was gifted to me by Claire Massa. She handmade this for me and one for my wife. And I keep my favorite pen BBS pens, my three beautiful four, five, sixes in this pen case all times. I was gifted uh, this magnetic closure three pen leather case a couple of years ago uh, by Joel Terrell. And I use it every day for my very best pens. And Rickshaw makes a huge selection of materials and colors in single and multiple pen cases. Their website allows you to customize your case for your preferences. And the insides are really downy soft. This one accommodates three pens of any size. And they're soft sided and roll up for easy carrying in a briefcase or a purse, what have you. And for pen storage, these wallets come in zippered pouches. This one is for 12 pens and you can get them in larger sizes as well like this wallet for 48 pens. I've got a couple of these. And when your geek isn't storing their pens, they want to display them proudly on their desks. So a pen stand or a pen rest makes a nice gift. Again, geek preferences vary from those that like their pens at attention in a desk stand like this, or they prefer their pens in repose on a pen pillow. This stand, was 3D printed by my son uh, from a free design on Thingiverse and I painted it. You can get commercially made pen stands that are a bit more substantial to this. And these little pen pillows made of acrylic are from Pen BBS and very inexpensive if you don't mind the six week wait for delivery. Now many pen geeks are fans of writing letters in code. I mean cursive. What better way to seal your message than with a wax seal? Melting the wax over a candle onto your envelope and then pressing your personal seal impression into the hot wax is a very pleasant experience for both the sender and the receiver. These kits are relatively inexpensive and will give your geek hours of melty fun. If you think wax seals are unique for a really vintage writing experience, you can get your pen lover a glass dip pen for the holidays. They come in all kinds of fascinating colors and shapes, and even if they don't write with them, having a glass dip pen as a desk ornament provides your inky friend with some style and class. And they make really cool pointers as well. You can point there, and I can point there, and then I can point there, and I can point at that. I am 50% pointer. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. If your fountain pen enthusiast travels with their pens, 
getting them a traveling ink supply is an awesome gift. This Peniter pen filler is a terrific little device. You don't have to worry about transporting bulky and fragile glass bottles of ink. This plastic bottle holds up to 10 cc's of ink and all you have to do is push your pen into the top, clamp it down and fill your pen. It works for converter pens as well, but is especially useful for those with piston fillers that don't have a removable section like this Leonardo Ferrore Grande or this Narwhal Nautilus. Just use the included eyedropper to suck up the ink from your bottle and put it in the pen filler. This is a very elegant and clean solution to a very common problem. The Paniter is also much cheaper than the Visconti version. And for those of you that have been counting, that makes 10, but I'm going to throw in a bonus. Here's a really cool idea. And speaking of problems filling fountain pens with ink, these handy little devices would be really cool gifts for geeks. They are ink snorkels. Attach one to your pen's converter and you can suck up that last bit of ink from that almost empty bottle. And they are just another inexpensive and very cool stocking stuffer for your favorite geek. And they come in a number of different sizes from Standard International to Sailor and Pilot and Platinum. And there you have it. Happy holidays to all of you out there in fountain pen land. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And don't forget that you can join as a member of my channel for only 99 cents a month and I guarantee I will answer your comments in the comment section and you'll get cool emojis and badges too. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you for watching. And that's all she wrote. I made this.